In this classroom at Almaden Country Day School in San Jose, California, these eighth graders are learning the basics of 3D printing and modeling. So what I want you guys to do is work on this mold part. But they were presented with an advanced opportunity when the mother of a third grade student in the same school asked teacher Joanne Papini if the class could print a prosthetic for her son Trent, who was born without a fully formed right hand. And in my mind, I'm like, yeah, that, that'll be nice for college and high school kids, um, but I wanted to do something with it. This is one of the pieces for the hand. In the Middle schooler Sarah Vender, up for the challenge. At first I was a little unsure because I've never made a hand before. <laughs> with some help from online instructions, Sarah and her classmates got to work on their own prosthetic prototype. So this is our failure box. Working for a whole month to improve their design. I really wanted to make sure it was perfect because I knew that this would change his life if it went well. And all that hard work? Yeah! Paying off. I was so relieved that it worked. I was like, yes, it worked. The hand even made in the colors of the San Jose Sharks, Trent's favorite hockey team. I felt happy and I was super excited to show my class. Oh, look how excited they all are. Trent thrilled to show off his new hand to his class. Look at that. Look at that. We were crying. We were all, we just, we were just ecstatic. We were running around and Trent's running outside and the kids are high-fiving him and, you know, everybody was just emailing me and crying and I had tears. And even a surprise visit from the Sharks mascot. This one we are pretty What started as an elective class, now inspiring Sarah, proving her work can help others. Yeah, I just saw that he was so happy and it made me feel so good that I was able to do something that could help him so much. And yeah, I definitely think that I want to pursue that. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.